Hi, what's up guys? This is Virtuous to Mommy Family. Um, today I'm going to be doing a very special project. I am going to do a wood stain on these letters. Now, I've used this wood stain before. Um, about a year ago, I bought my husband a um, wood box that would have consist of something to the ordinary of a watch box so I bought the wood box from Michaels and I actually made him a watch box for his watches because he does a lot of watch collections and um I bought the wood stain because I wanted it to be a darker color it was actually um per se something like this color here uh, like a light wood wood color basically um but i'm gonna be wood staining these letters and i will be perhaps putting this family sign some kind of way on the wood stain and And also, I just want to remind you guys, as you can see, you don't have to use a whole lot of um, the wood stain in one spot because the, the wood actually soaks in the um, wood stain very, very good. So you don't have to use a lot unless you just want like this thick, dark coloring because it's already going to conform to that. So just put like at least a few dots in place and just brush lightly you don't even have to do it hard just brush lightly and um you'll see the finishing touches coming in so guys this is what it looks like um i'm not finished with everything because what i'm basically gonna do i am going to wood stain um the side the bottom and like on the inside of um the lettering and whatnot and I think I'm going to probably put about like two coats on it. This is just one coat that you can basically see right now. Um, I'm going to do the same thing to the M. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it to family. But I might use the diamond dust on family and use some Mod Podge to apply that diamond dust. That way it looks very natural and everything and it doesn't lose its um, glitter touch. But it's coming along so just bear with me and we'll get back to it. Okay, guys, as you can see, these wood letters um, stain very, very perfectly. Um, I only use one coat on these um, wood letters only because, like I said, the wood soaks in the, um, the liquid very, very well. So you only really have to use one coat on these wood letters. Um, I'm getting through with the preparation. I'll be back. All right, guys, for this family sign, what I'm going to do is put the main ingredient on these letters. Um, it's going to be the diamond dust. I think this is really awesome. I got this from Michael's. Um, like I said, it was on sale and... It was on sale, guys, and as you can see, um, this diamond dust is awesome. So I'm going to put that on the family sign and um, just experimenting just to see what I come up with. And guys, I'm going to apply this Maj Podge on the lettering and as I apply the Maj Podge on the lettering I'm going to apply a little at a time each bit of the diamond dust and see what we come up with and you can actually use um I'm using another brush um soak in brush to do 
my Maj Podge and the Diamond Dust. So let's see what we get. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, what I'm doing, I'm letting the wood letters um, dry and everything because of the staining. And now I'm taking these pink um, rose looking flowers and instead of doing like a little candle holder thing that I was going to do, I actually took some pearls that I had to the side that I've had for a while and I have not put them to use, but it's about time now. And I put them in a um, Dollar Tree looking glass, wine glass or whatnot. And I took some diamond wrap and I actually glued the diamond wrap all the way around the glass. I put a rose inside as you can see. Just experimenting, just doing something, having fun and whatnot. And I'm actually taking some more of the pink roses and actually gluing them around the edges. So I'm going to put like one or two more here to fill in the gap. And then I'm going to put one to put on top. And that's going to kind of be like my display for my um, work desk or whatnot. I'll be back with you.